Hi everyone. So I'm going to get right into the reading. Please keep in mind that I do channel multiple energy groups on here. So some of these readings will be for you. They'll be your energy group. They'll resonate with you and some of them will not. So only take the readings that resonate. So we've got this isn't goodbye. I don't want to walk away, but it's what's best for me and us right now. But we will be together again soon. I've been dreaming about you. Obsessed. I think I'm obsessed with you. I think about you all the time. Stalk your socials. And I hope I run into you when I'm out. Emotional intimacy. I'm afraid to truly open up to you. Being raw and authentic with my emotions is something I'm working on. When I'm feeling like whoever this is, I feel like this person walked away from you, but I, I feel like they had to walk away from you in order to realize that they love you. It's almost like they couldn't appreciate you when you were right there. And I feel like they were probably the one that walked away. I, I feel like they had epiphanies after they walked away. Because so we have like my dreams and obsessed. Um, let's look more into this. It was time I went within to find myself again. So this person needed space. They were unclear. I heard you were dating someone. Is it true? Please tell me it isn't. Father wounds. My father is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. I'm acting like I don't care about what happened between us, but I do. I just want to appear unbothered. I feel bound by my culture and my family's belief on how I should live my life. You hurt me. Everything that happened hurt me so much. I need time to heal. When I think about you, I cry. I honestly don't get a great energy from this person. This could be an ex. That's, I feel like this is an ex that's going to come back around during Mercury, Mercury Retrograde. Let's look into it with Tarot. I feel like this person got their karma. I, I feel like they got a taste of their own medicine. I feel like this is somebody that friend zoned you or they hurt you or they, um, I don't want to say friend zone, but it's like they, I feel like they broke your heart, but they're seeing it as, as you broke their heart instead. Like, I, I feel like they didn't know what they want. I feel like they, I feel like when you guys were together or dating, or maybe you had like a situationship with this person, I feel like they really took you for granted. I feel like they really took your love for granted. They took your loyalty for granted. This person really just thought that you would just always be there for them. They didn't think that you were ever going to go anywhere. Um, they kind of used you as their crutch. They, they felt like they didn't know what they wanted. They didn't know who they were. They didn't know what they felt. It's like they couldn't make a decision. And I feel like it was after they left that they started really appreciating you because they didn't have that, that light in their life anymore, that empathy, that warmth. So, and I feel like they are the ones that decided to leave. I feel like they are the ones that broke up with you or they ended it. They ran away. They ghosted you. Like, they are the ones that exited exited the relationship somehow or the situationship. Um, and I don't think that they were expecting to miss you as much as they do. I, I feel like they had just started taking your presence for granted so much that they didn't realize the... Um, I, I feel like maybe, like, this person has bad luck when you're not around. Or if it's not bad luck, I feel like... You were really, I, I feel like you're a very blessed, very high vibrational person, very empathetic, very loving person. And so I feel like when you were in this person's life, I feel like they were blessed. Like some of your blessings almost rubbed off onto them, if that makes sense. Like if you're a really social person and they're more introverted, I feel like they became more social around you. Like they started making new friends. They started talking to people more. Um, or if you have good luck with money, I feel like their finances improved when they were around you too. It's like being in your energy is such a blessing. It's like you have all this abundance, you have all this good karma. And so I feel like just being around you and being loved by you, I feel like they were very, um, 
like they were just very blessed. Like they got some of, some of your good karma, some of your good luck, some of your blessings. It's like good things were happening in their life when you were around. And I feel like this person was honestly kind of cocky about it. I feel like this person was like, like they, they just felt like they didn't, they didn't need, need anybody. They're like, oh, I'm just, they, they, they felt like they were doing it by themselves, but it was actually your energy that was bringing all this abundance in for them. I'm hearing that quote. What is that quote? It's like a meme or something. It's like you, you're extremely lucky if you ever get to be loved by a witch. So for some of you, maybe you did like protection spells and abundance spells and healing spells for this person. Um, and now you're not doing those things. So they're feeling the absence of that energy, that, that emotional, that telepathic support. They're not, you know, they don't have your energy the way that they used to. So yeah, it's like, I, ju I just feel like they left and then they, they thought they would have all those blessings without you. They thought they would have all that good energy without you. And I feel like once they left, you kind of put your foot down and you're like, enough is enough. Like, I'm not going to let this person back in if they come back around. Like this person has hurt me one too many times. I can't trust them. This person doesn't really love me. They don't have my best interest at heart. Um, <laughs> It's like you allowed them to leave this time. You know, you didn't fight for them like maybe you had in the past. I feel like this time you're like, you know what? Go ahead and leave. I don't care how heartbroken I am. I'm I'm not doing this anymore. So I just think they had some major realizations in your absence. They're like all this good energy, all this love I felt, all this support, all this happiness. They didn't realize it was coming from you. They didn't realize it was your connection that was making them so happy. They didn't realize it was your abundance that was bringing these blessings into their life. They got really cocky and they thought that they, you know, they thought they could do better than you. They thought they could have, they could go fuck around with other girls or they thought they could go, they just got really cocky. They thought they could have better than you. And they, they came to the realization that there isn't better than you out there. You, you were the best thing that ever happened to them. Let's see. They just really took your, your love and your support and your, your light, your good energy for granted. They really just, like I said, they got so used to having that energy from you in their life, to having that support in their life that they didn't even recognize that that love and happiness was coming from you. They thought it was elsewhere. They thought it was something they created themselves, but it was it was part of, you know, the abundance that came with the connection between the two of you. So even though they're, they're the one that left, I feel like they're wanting, they're really feeling your absence now. They're really upset. They're the ones that are crying over this now. They're the ones, they're the ones that are you know, feeling heartbroken over this now. Um, they really regret taking you for granted. Tell me more about this. Oh, I have these upside down, so I didn't mean to read reversals. <laughs> I was shuffling the wrong way. Yeah, five of cups, ten of swords. Like, they're feeling, they're going through it. They're going through some bad karma, probably. They're feeling heartbroken. They still don't seem to know what they want. They still don't know if they want to be single, if they want to be with someone. They're Tell me about this. They know to get you to be a queen of cups in their life again, to get that gentle energy, loving energy from you that they miss so much. They know it would be a battle because they know that you're going to hold on to things that they did in the past. You're not going to forget how they hurt you. You're the queen of swords now. You're not gentle and loving and patient with this person like you were in the past. Like you see their mind games. You see how they breadcrumbed you. You see how they hurt you. 
you you recognize that you you felt taken for granted you felt unloved you felt like you were like this person's last choice like you like you never felt like a priority in this person's life and I think they know this so they're aware that if they want the queen of cups side of you they're gonna have to get through the queen of swords they're gonna have to get through like they know that your walls are gonna be up at this point Yeah, they want to come to you with a because they're heartbroken. They want to come to you with an offer of loyalty and stability to work together. But is this even genuine or is this just them crying over spilled milk and being sad? Because this person also wants what they can't have. That's another issue with this person. It's like they were so used to you being right there. They were so used to, you know, you being the person that they could call crying in the middle of the night and you would always be there for them. They were so used to just having you um, and they took you for granted so much. And now it's like, now they're recognizing you. I'm hearing that song, you only know you love her when you let her go. Only, what what is that song? Like, you only know you love her when you let it go. Only need the warmth when it starts to, sn I don't know. I don't fucking remember the lyrics. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but... It's like now in your absence, now they're heartbroken. Now that you're moving on or now that you're with a new man or you're you're thinking about dating other people or you're not chasing them or you've pulled back your energy, you're more guarded, you're not checking on them anymore like you used to, you're doing your own thing, you're not waiting on them anymore. It's like now they're heartbroken. Now that they don't have you, now they want you back. Now they want to work on this. Now they're seeing all the things that you saw from the start, all the the true love potential that, you know, the happily ever after, the marriage, all the things that you always saw with this person that they never appreciated or they never saw with you. Now they're seeing all those things that you originally saw, the wish fulfillment that you saw, that you walked away from because you're like, no, I want... I want true love. I want someone that actually, I want someone that, that loves me. I want someone that knows me. I want someone that isn't just coming back to me after, you know, they, they've gone and, and fucked every other girl and they realize there's nothing better out there. Now they want to come crawling back to me. No, I don't think so. Can you trust this? Can you trust this, this offer that's coming in? Is this actually... Is this person actually genuinely changing and seeing the good in you? Or is this just them wanting what they can't have and just being sad now that, you know, now that you're absent? It's like now they can't take you for granted anymore. Is this genuine? Tell me about this. They're wanting to just move things from rough waters to calmer waters very smoothly, but that's blocked. They want to they want to sweep things. They want to come back in, but they want to sweep things under the rug like, oh, I don't want to talk about how I gaslit you or I don't want to talk about how I took you for granted or I don't want to talk about how I cheated on you with this other girl. Like, I just can't you just, you know, take my word for it that I'm that I've changed. Um yeah, because they're like having anxiety. Like you see this person looking at this crop. He's like, when is it going to grow? When is it going to grow? So they're, they're having frustration and anxiety because it's like they just want it to be fast. They don't want to have to put the time and work and effort in. They don't want to have to apologize. They, I think it's a pride thing, too, where they don't want to admit that there wasn't better out there because this might have been a really cocky king of wands type that said, like, you know, I want to go date other girls. I want to see what else is out there. And now they want to come back to you and be like, oh, there wasn't there. There was no better girl out there. You were actually the best girl for me. Um, 
it's like a pride thing. They don't want to have to admit that they were wrong, that, that they couldn't, that they couldn't do it on their own, that, that abundance, that, that happiness that that was coming from you. They don't want to admit those things. They don't want to admit their faults because they might've said something and they stuck to it. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm going to go date other girls or I'm going to see what else is out there. Or I'm going to, I want to go down this other path, or I want to move to this new state, or I want to pursue this career and not be with anybody. They don't want to admit that whatever they pursued didn't bring them happiness the way that you did, whether it was a, a career or a, a new living location, a new, you know, new job, a new relationship, whatever it was or even just being single, whatever it was that they chose over you, they don't want to admit to you that that did not bring them the happiness that they thought it would. And that you actually are the things that the thing that brought them the most happiness. I don't think you're if they're coming to you in this way, I don't think you're going to give it the time of day, because they're going to have to come with a solid offer and an apology if you're if they even want to even at the very least even have a minute to talk to you even just be heard by you they're gonna have to they're, they're gonna have to own their shit yeah because you're the high priestess and you're gonna be strong so the high priestess knows everything but she doesn't speak on what she knows and the strength card too, that's, that's another card that talks about holding back, like you're not saying something. So when they present this Ace of Cups, like if there, there might be things that you know about that they don't know that you know, like they might have cheated and maybe you never said anything. Um, and you're just going to wait and see if they admit to cheating or you're going to wait and see if they apologize, if they take accountability like you're going to observe this love offer to see if it's actually genuine, to see if they really have changed, to see if they really do appreciate you, if they really do love you. You're going to really analyze their words. Um, like you're not going to speak on it. You're going to analyze what they say and you're going to you're going to feel it out and see if it's just the same conflict, same bullshit as before. You're going to, yeah, you're. Has this person genuinely changed? Have they genuinely done the work? Are they coming with a genuine love offer? Like, are they really, what is their, what is their true intention here? They want to come forward quick. They do want to build something here, even if it's a struggle. Let's see. They want victory. They want success with you. They want a new start. They want celebration, good times with you, fun. They want to heal this relationship. They want they want like a fresh start with you. What are they willing? Okay, so we know what they want with you. Like they do want a new start. They do finally recognize that there is real love between the two of you. But um, can you trust this? Are they actually willing to put in the work? So we know what they want. But are what are they willing to do to get this with you? world possibly reject a third party if they have to possibly leave a third party behind to have this ten of pentacles with you ace of wands ten of wands Page of Cups, Temperance, Ace of Ace of Swords, Page of Cups, Temperance, Ace of Swords. I almost see this though as them like giving you half truths. Like they're giving you, they're telling you certain things. Like they're coming in and they're admitting to doing certain things, but then they're still hiding other things from you. 
things that you probably already know about, you know, like they're not giving you the full truth. They're tempering it. Um, I just keep it. It's so strange because I'm not getting like a definitive like yes or no, because I keep like asking like in my head, like channeling, like has this person changed or not? And I'm getting like yes and no. And it almost feels like they have grown up and they have changed in certain ways. Like they are maturing. They do realize your value. Finally, they do see that, you know, the importance of having you in their life. Um, so they have matured in certain ways and they are working on themselves, but there's also other patterns and habits that they still haven't really worked on, you know, or secrets that they have. They still haven't exposed those secrets. Like they still haven't been authentic and honest with you. They still haven't apologized to you. So it's like they're changing in some ways, but in other ways, they're still kind of staying stagnant. Tell me more about this. If, if this is genuine. Judgment, Empress. The moon and the sun, interesting. I feel like you're waiting for your true king of cups, like for divine justice, like the man that's actually going to be emotionally available with you. And this person could be feeling that energy. They could be feeling the energy of like, it's like a tower moment in their life where they're like, oh my God, like she's dating someone new or she might be dating someone new soon. Like they're feeling that energy of you not waiting for them anymore. Um... I do feel like this person could end up taking you for granted again, though. It's, it's hard to say right now because they're at, like, they really have made some changes, but there's other things that they need to work on as well that they haven't worked on. So it kind of depends on how the story progresses. But I, I just think the whole wanting what you can't have thing is like the issue here. Because, you know, if you were to open up to this again, if you were to be vulnerable with them again, What's to stop them from going right back to that old pattern of taking you for granted and doing the same things over and over again? You know what I mean? Use discernment. Use your intuition when this person messages you. If you feel like you should give this a chance, then give it a chance. If you feel like you can't trust them, then, you know, really listen to your intuition because for it's going to be different for everyone. It really is. Um because they really are seeing you as their true love. They are seeing you as like their divine match. But it, it kind of just depends on the individual person on if they're willing to, to step up and make those changes for you. It's like I, I see them. How do I explain this? How to explain this energy? Um, they want to work on things with you, but there's like a certain way, like they're stubborn on how they work on things with you. Does that make sense to you guys? It's, it's like they want to fix things with you, but they want to do it their way. They, they want to go about it a certain way. And like there's still certain things that they want to hide from you or there's certain things that they don't want to have to say. Like they might not want to have to apologize. You know what I mean? They're like... It, like, it's one of those things, like, this person might be like, oh, my God, I don't know how to say sorry. I'm so bad at saying the words I'm sorry. So I'm going to bring her roses and chocolates and and tell her I miss her. But I'm never going to say the words I'm sorry. You know what I mean? So it, it, it's like there's certain things they're unwilling to do or there's certain secrets that they're unwilling to reveal to you at this time. Um. So it's like they're wanting to fix things and they're willing to to put some work into fix things. But it's a, it's like they're deciding what that looks like. They're deciding what, you know, what they're going to do to win you back over, basically. Um, sorry, I'm just putting the cards away and I'm going to see if I can channel anything else on it. If you do give this a chance, I would say be very careful. 
like I said, there might still be secrets there. And again, I feel like being the high priestess and then the strength card, I feel like you know those secrets, but you're going to wait to see if they expose them themselves. You're going to wait to see, you know, is this person actually willing to be vulnerable with me this time around? Is this person willing to expose those secrets? Is this person, are their intentions pure? Are they genuine? Like you need to kind of almost test this person. Don't just give them a chance right off the bat. Like if they message you, read the message, analyze the message, feel the message out. Like, are they being honest or tune into your intuition? Are they being honest? Are they being authentic? Is this, are they saying enough for considering all they did to you is, is what they're offering you really enough? Like, did they completely fuck you over and they just want to message you like, Hey, how are you doing? You know, how have you been? Or are they actually coming to you in a very real way where they're exposing themselves? They're, they're being vulnerable. I think that's going to make the difference for you is you're like, you know, you're going to look at it like I, I risked so much for this person. I put myself out there. I was so vulnerable with this person. So I don't think you're going to tolerate any half ass like, oh, hey, how are you doing? Miss you, blah, blah, blah. Like you're not going to tolerate that. You're going to be like, no, like I want to see vulnerability. I want to see honesty. I want to see you expose those secrets. I want to see you tell me the truth because it's the right thing to do, not just because I know those secrets anyway, but I want to see you tell me the truth on your own. You know, so I, I really feel like you're you're going to take your time with this, where you're really going to take everything that they say into account. Um, so, so just be cautious with this coming in. I, again, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't jump into it. I wouldn't, I would really read this person well. I would really take your time, make sure they don't go back to that pattern of taking you for granted. Um, make sure they're coming to you in a very honest, very genuine way. Make sure they're not hiding anything from you. Like really, really take it slow. Um, and let them let them prove themselves to you. Let this person show you what they're willing to do to change for you, to to be good for you, to treat you well. Let them, you know, this person has to be willing to be vulnerable. And I almost feel like this person, for some, it's like they're going to try to find loopholes again. They're going to try to find loopholes to not have to say sorry or to not have to be vulnerable with you. Um, to like kind of give you like surface level vulnerability, like a, a surface level, like try to get back in your energy, but without giving you too much. So it's almost going to be like a chess game for a little bit. Like you're going to have to be cautious and be like, stand your ground and be like, no, if you're not coming to me with honesty, with vulnerability, with integrity, I'm, I'm not, I don't even want to hear what you have to say. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even going to entertain it if you're going to play games or if you're going to if you're going to hold back, then don't even bother coming to me. If you're just going to say, Hey, how are you doing? Don't, don't bother messaging me. Like you've done too much for that to be enough at this point. You know what I mean? Like, I really feel like you're going to have to stand your ground, um, and take your time. So, and then make that decision for yourself. So, but yeah, don't jump into anything. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. As always, if this resonates, please like comment, share, subscribe.